your friendly neighborhood river guy and we're at the river on a beautiful day it's Thursday so the weekend rush is going to be hitting us very soon uh, over these next few days uh, I'm going to be hitting my old faithful spot and uh, see see what we can find and return to people over this weekend I bet it's going to be crowded I bet they're going to be dropping lots of stuff this is it I'm at my spot uh, I'll show you there's a, uh, a down tree right there that sucks people into it and when they hit it they just flip and so I found sunglasses phones fishing poles all down this stretch of river so we'll see what we can't find today is still working uh, but it's starting to cloud up on me and so uh, I'm gonna make one more run and call it a day the storm is moving in fast it's moving in faster than a hobo in an open house oh my gosh I don't know if I'll make a lie there's lightning everywhere wish me luck <laughs> mysterious Ziploc bag. You want to see what's in it? All right, let's see. Oh, you're not going to believe it. It's just rocks. beautiful busy Sunday afternoon here and I'm back I'm gonna be going to uh, that dangerous spot where I found that iPhone or turned it last week um, I'm not sure what I'll find but I'm sure I'll, <laughs> I'll be encountering lots of people and maybe find some cool treasure Woo! 
down rain but we got what we came here for an iPhone and let's see some car keys and airpods uh, we might it might be the same owner so we'll see hey I'm going to be kayaking the river today and checking out neat little spots like this where people might have dropped some treasure oh. are these Oakley's Dude, comment if these are Oakleys. What? What a day on the river it's been. Uh, finding two iPhones in a ring, some Oakleys. Man, but it's starting to get late. Uh, I'll be heading out here pretty soon. But I can't wait to get back home and see if I can't find those owners and get their phones back to them. <laughs> okay, so it's been a little over 24 hours since I put this phone in, uh, in this rice bag. And uh, I'm going to take it out, plug it in, and see if it turns on. Now, at first it looks great. You think, this is going to work. Um, but I, I have my doubts because the back has a bunch of open, cracked areas. And if any water was able to get through that case, uh, I think it would have fried this phone. But if the case worked and sealed all the water out, uh, that's the hope we're, we're working off of right now. So, I'm going to plug it in, and we'll see if it kicks on. Oh? That means it's going to be broken. <laughs> I'm on my way to meet the owners of these two working iPhones <laughs> and so some people ask me how I find them and the first thing I always try is uh, is is by calling Siri or using Siri to try to call mom uh, but these phones had Siri disabled um, but the way I found this phone is if you go to emergency like you're going to make an emergency call um, sometimes they have a tag at the bottom with uh, a medical ID uh, if you're like diabetic or allergic to penicillin and so one of the owners did and I was able to find her on Facebook and uh, from there I actually messaged one of her friends who then got me in contact with her dad who then got her to call me uh, it's always a fun way to track people down uh, but even better to get their stuff to them. So we'll meet them here in a sec. Those are the right ones. Yeah. yeah. Appreciate it. <laughs> awesome. Done for the week. Uh, I've got all my treasure and my trash in front of me. I say we take a peek at it real quick and uh, see what we got. So I already returned those two phones. Uh, but we still have this uh, perfectly broken phone right here. Uh, this vape that was working, this uh, partially golden earring, um, some beautiful unicorn <laughs> uh, aviators. Uh, the only good sunglasses that we got uh, were branded blenders. 
Um, comment below if you know if that's a, a good brand or not. Yeah, I got those blenders and then these as well. Uh, I think the Oakleys I found, which are right here, I think they're fake. Um, besides that, we got a bunch of other cheaper sunglasses, some nice goggles. I'm not sure what this is. It smells, it smells like strawberries though. I'm not sure. I couldn't get it to open. Um, but besides that, what I learned is that there's a bunch of shoeless, hatless, pantless, shirtless people going around on the river and in Caddo Gap. So if you're in the area, watch out. Uh, but yeah, one more thing. I forgot that I found this ring. Apparently, even though it was on top of that iPhone, it did not belong to that guy. Uh, that's crazy. But uh, yeah. It's your uh, friendly neighborhood river guy once again. I uh, hope you liked the video. Uh, go ahead and leave a like, uh, comment, subscribe, and uh, tune into my next one. All right, see y'all later.